Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. Now it's fair to say that I am super excited for this week's video because I'm going to be talking about my favourite animal on the entire planet. Now I know I briefly spoke about this animal last year in one of my Tune In Tuesdays after I spent the best day of my life swimming with them all day. But really, there's never too much that you can say about blue sharks. Now, I am truly fascinated by everything about this shark because they really are spectacular. Blue sharks earned their common name by their distinct blue colour on the upper side of their bodies, though not all of their body is blue. Blue sharks are countershaded, which is a popular method of camouflage seen throughout the animal kingdom, in which an animal's coloration is darker on the upper side and lighter on the underside. Blue sharks have a pretty varied diet of octopus, cuttlefish, crabs, lobsters, but their favourite of all are the squid, and they'll travel vast distances in search of prey. So vast, in fact, that blue sharks are the most migratory of all shark species. They carry out a clockwise migration pattern around the Atlantic, covering distances of over 5,700 miles every year. Their long paddle-like pectoral fins are thought to help them ride ocean currents, enabling them to conserve energy during their long travels. So whilst I'm telling you about my favourite animal, I might as well tell you my favourite phrase too. And of course, the two are linked. Ampullae of Lorenzini which personally I think sounds like it could be buried Aztec gold or mythical pirate treasure, but actually it's even cooler. Ampullae of Lorenzini are sensory organs called electroreceptors, and these allow sharks to detect electric and magnetic fields in the water. You can see the pores clearly of the Ampullae of Lorenzini in this photo here, which is of the snout of a blue shark. Now these help the sharks seek out prey, which is sometimes miles away. Now, one of the main reasons that I love this species is because blue sharks truly represent girl power. Now, males, when they're mature, they'll reach average lengths of 1.8 to 2.8 meters. However, females, when mature, can reach impressive lengths of 2.2 to 3.3 meters. Also, female blue sharks are particularly thick skinned. In fact, their skin is three times thicker than that of the males. This is because in courtship, males are known to bite the females in an act to try and impress them. So the females have literally evolved a thicker skin to endure the male's annoying habits which are trying to impress them. What do you think, girls? Does it sound familiar? Blue sharks are viviparous, which means they give birth to live young as opposed to laying eggs. Mothers will give birth to an average of 35 pups, but litters can rarely reach over 100 pups. But don't worry, I'm not about to start singing the baby shark song. Although there is a shark song that I do know that does have an educational angle to it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to start singing. Okay, see what you think of this. So I'm an ambassador for the Shark Trust. And when we used to go out to do outreach events, there's this song that we used to sing to teach you about the parts of a shark. Now the parts that you need to know for this song are dorsal, pectoral, caudal, tail. <coughs> dorsal, pectoral, caudal, tail, caudal, tail. Dorsal, pectoral, caudal tail, caudal tail and eyes and teeth and gills and nose. Dorsal, pectoral, caudal tail, caudal tail. <laughs> I'm never living that down. You'll be lucky if it actually goes in. Now, unfortunately, there is a somewhat sinister side to this story. The blue sharks are the most heavily fished of all shark species in the world, with global estimates at 20 million individuals every year. The species is rarely targeted commercially, but bycatch by longline and driftnet fisheries is very high. 
Globally, the blue shark is listed as near threatened on the IUCN red list. In the UK, it is a priority species under the UK post-2010 biodiversity framework. But this does not mean that it's too late to turn the tide and protect the blue sharks. And we can all start by supporting the Shark Trust No Limits campaign, which aims to stop the overfishing of unmanaged shark species in the Atlantic, including blue sharks and cat sharks, which you've seen in one of my previous Tune In Tuesdays, which actually hatch out of the mermaid's purses that we find on our beach cleans. So as always, thank you so much for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a like, comment or share, and I'll see you next week for next week's episode.